Hi, my name is Leslie, and today we're going to be going over hooks. So, no, it's not fishing hooks. No, it's not hook from Tinkerbell. <laughs> not anything like that. Um, the hook that we're talking about is a hook in your essay. It is one of the most important things in an essay because that's what's going to attract your reader. The reason that it's even called a hook is because you want to hook your readers and you want to make sure that people who are going to read your essay are interested in it. It's like when you pick up a book in a store. Usually you read the back page or most people read the first page and if they're interested in it and they're interested in the hook of it, they get it and they buy it. So I'm really interested in kind of getting to show you guys a little bit about how you can balance everything um, and make sure that your hook is something that is going to bring your readers in to read it. Um, and it's really not going to be that difficult for you, I promise. If you're struggling with it now, you won't be soon because I'm giving you the exact examples of things that you can use for a hook. So, what can I use for a hook? Really, you can use just about anything that's going to be interesting. But some great examples that I have are quotes. So, Quotes can be something that are a really good, easy hook because if your quote is empowering, people are going to want to read more about it. Let's say, think of a quote from one of your favorite people um, or like uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech and his I Have a Dream and how, you know, that's kind of how it starts out. Those kinds of hooks and those kinds of quotes, especially if someone knows it, that's going to draw them in and it could also solidify what you're trying to come across as. And yeah, pretty much just like number two, write a quote from a famous person. So you could use a quote from a, a, just a random person or a quote from a famous person that people can relate to, like Michael Jordan, anything. Surprise with a misconception. So um, a misconception, for those of you who don't know, that's something that people think they know, but don't really. Or um, think of it, for an example of a misconception or black cats. Um, a lot of cultures um, and a lot of different people believe that black cats are a sign of bad luck. That's a misconception because in reality, black cats are just black cats. So you could surprise with a misconception and maybe even open up in that way and, and talk about how, um, you know, black cats have been seen for ages as, you know, bad luck and how they bring bad luck. But in reality, blah, 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 blah. And that'll definitely make people interested. Write an anecdote, tell a personal story, use statistical data. Um, for a personal story and anecdote, they're a little similar. Um, an anecdote is a personal story, but with a lesson. So let's say that you um, didn't listen to your mom when she told you to, um, not cross the street, but then you almost got hit by a car or something. That's a story of you learning a lesson, but it's a personal story kind of thing. Um, so this one has more of a story to a, a lesson to it. Um, but tell a personal story. You are very interesting. Your life is very interesting because not everybody lives the same exact life. So if you can share that in a way that's going to bring, draw people in, that'll be great. Statistical data. Um, that would be like, statistics in general. So let's say that 70% of people in the U.S. don't have a bachelor's degree. You could use that. Or if 80% um, of, 80% um, of, let's say, of dogs can shake paws or something. Something interesting. <laughs> um, you can find statistical data really anywhere. Um, it, it's supposed to like specifically if you're looking into a demographic or, or a person or an area, you could just type in like Phoenix statistics or things like that and, and it always comes up. Ask a question. That's also a really great hook. Um, you want to reel people in by asking them a question. So you could even say, how many of you have ever lost a friend? That's instantly going to draw people in because they're going to read that and they're going to be like, hey, I've lost a friend. What's this about? You know, something like that. 
share a fact or definition. Um, you could also share a really cool fact. This kind of goes along with statistical data. Um, you could just share that there are over um, 500,000 Hispanics in Phoenix alone. That's, whoa, that's huge, that's a fact. Uh, and that'll draw people in or draw a scene. So by draw a scene, I don't literally mean that take your first sentence and draw a house and draw stick figures. No, I mean, draw a scene in people's minds. Talk about, um, it was a cold winter night in 2000, no, no, cold winter. It was a cold winter night in 2015. And just when everything was going right, bam, this happened, that happened. Draw, just allow, give people, details so that they're able to kind of form their own opinions and their own ideas in their head to kind of like telling a story so a hook should be the first sentence of every essay i said or first and second because if you have a longer quote if you have a longer story you can it can be the first two sentences of your essay but always the first things in your essay hands down um when you're writing an essay it shouldn't be boring or too formal because you want your readers to be really into it. So if you try to be too formal from the beginning and you're not gonna enjoy writing it and people aren't gonna enjoy reading it. So be yourself, obviously don't talk in an essay as you were with your friends, like uh, LOL, LMA, and you know, like make sure that you are uh, being formal but not too formal, still be yourself. Those personal stories are honestly really awesome to start off with because that's you being yourself. So you also wanna make sure that you're grabbing and keeping people's attention throughout your writing. So if you're telling a personal story, make sure that you use the most exciting aspects of it. An essay hook is that particular instrument you need to meet this challenge to grab their attention. Because again, as I've been stressing, if it's not interesting, if it's not something people are gonna care about, they're not gonna you know, be there. And I have some really awesome examples for you guys of, of kind of different hooks that you could start exploring. So let's say you wanted to start off with a question. A really good question to ask could be, what's the purpose of our existence? I read that and I think about it and I'm like, whoa, what's this essay gonna be about? What is the purpose of our existence, you know? <laughs> um, another great hook is quotation hook. So that quotation hook is gonna have to do when you use quotes, um, quotes from a famous person, really anything. Um, and I think this one in particular is for Michael Jordan. So some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, others make it happen. Pretty deep, pretty deep. So when I read that, I'm like, whoa. So some people just want things to happen, some people wish things would happen, but other people are actively out there making it happen. So automatically, I want to read that essay. That's a great quote. I want it, you know? A statistical hook. Um, so this is kind of where we're talking about statistics and showing um, different percentages and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So in the statistic hook, we have reports have shown that almost two-thirds of adults in the United States of America have lived in a place with at least one gun at some point in their life. Two-thirds of adults in the U.S. Crazy. So again, that's a statistical hook that's going to draw people in. A personal story. So here's a great example um, as well if you wanted to kind of talk if your personal story relates to what it is that you're talking about in your essay. So for this personal story, they say, my father was in the Navy. I basically grew up on a cruise. As a young boy, I saw things beyond anyone's imagination. On April 15th, 2001, and I really want them to continue going, but that's the point of the hook that he tells you his father was in the Navy, he grew up on a cruise, and he saw things beyond anyone's imagination. What did you see? I wanna know, I wanna read. A persuasive essay. Um, so for this particular example, I don't want you to think that for a persuasive essay, this is exactly what you need to say, but this is a great example of a hook that would definitely work for a persuasive essay. So here it states, at average each year, humans release 38.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide approximately. Due to this, the level of carbon dioxide has increased significantly, more than it has been in centuries. If you think climate change is nothing to worry about, then you are highly mistaken. That if you think climate change is nothing to worry about, then you are highly mistaken. That's pretty big because that's kind of making you think and it's making you 
want to continue to read this to see how they defend the use of carbon dioxide. So really, it's this whole thing right here that sells it for you in the persuasive essay. So I really hope that this has helped you guys, at least in some way that you can take some of these examples and maybe start messing around with them. Find some cool statistics, start looking into some quotes, write them in your planner. Um, I honestly, I have my little school planner here and it says, do everything with love. It's an awesome quote. And I write a whole bunch of quotes in my planner all the time. And when it comes down to writing um, essays and different things, I already have an idea of, of a great quote that I'd like to use. So maybe do a little bit of that. Uh, definitely believe in you guys. I know you guys can do it. Go rock it.